Hey guys, what's going on? I'm about to do a re-review of a fragrance. It's like a second review on this fragrance because I received a request like quite some time ago. Someone, one of my subscribers, I'm really sorry, I forgot who, who actually requested me. I really apologize. I feel awful. <laughs> but actually the fragrance today I have for you, I reviewed it in back in Malaysia just about one year back, like last year or so uh, when I was in Malaysia, right before I came to Bangladesh. And I was outdoors, I was reviewing this fragrance in near a stream. And the fragrance, it was uh, Pakuraban Puram, okay? And uh, since then, you know, like someone asked me, brother, could you do a detailed review? Because outdoors, it was just four minutes or so. So I have this on the paper. I'll talk about it today, re-review sort of. And I hope uh, I'll actually be able to give you more information than last time. So some, let me show you how I'm going to do this today. The information on this, when it was launched, it was a 70s baby, I guess. And all the notes, Enlist and Fragrantica, I'll put the link under this video in the description. If you want to check it out, you can check it out there. But I will show you some fragrances in the same class, same family. And then I will tell you what I get from it, where I would wear it, who is it for, season-wise, okay? Then I believe it will cover the whole thing, right? So if you know fragrances like this one, Polo Green. If you know fragrances like... This one, Kurum, okay, the original Kurum. Then if you know fragrances like the classic, Drakkar Noir. Then my favorite, my winter baby, <laughs> Kuros. Kuros is my angel and demon in the same bottle. If you know that, then my newer sort of bottle is this one. I haven't reviewed it, Zino Davidov. Then the last one I would say, uh, there are plenty more. I didn't want to show all. If you know Azaro Kurum, sort of like a barbershop, old school classic powerhouse which they all are in their own ways. They have the differences, they have the different notes breakdown, they're not exactly similar. I mean same, but they're kind of same vibe, same masculine vibe. So if you love that, you might want to look into Pakoraban Puram. Okay, so as I was telling you, I had this on the paper. Okay, and I was trying to get down to the dry down of this because this fragrance starts off in certain way and the transformation goes to somewhere else. And uh, I love both the stages. And let me show you the packaging first, then I'll tell you what I get from this fragrance and why is it my favorite. This is the packaging, very nice sort of green. You don't get this kind of boxes anymore. It's very old school kind of, but this is reformulated one. I don't have the vintage definitely. So I have a 50 ml bottle and the box is like this green, nothing much, okay? Back, up top, bottom. And uh, this one is I think uh, distributed by Puig, Pouage, <laughs> and it's made in France, okay? So Papo Raban, uh, I'll tell you. Okay. Let me show you the bottle first, okay? The bottle comes in like this. Bigger bottle you buy, it becomes longer. That's all it is. There's a built-in sprayer here. Up there, you spray. Just like the Kuros, same mechanism. Green bottle. Juice, I believe, is not green. It says Pakuraban Puram in front. Very simplistic, sort of, at the back, okay? Bottom is your sticker and batch code. Very simplistic, but I love the bottle design. It's pretty manly and masculine. So, for the price, I think this one... Uh, problem with this is Pakuraban. They hardly lowered their prices. Even few days ago I saw excess, you know, Pakuraban excess. It was being sold somewhere. I asked how much is it. I would, thought it would be heavily discounted, like $30. So I got very excited. So for the 100 mil, they asked for like 7,000 taka. That is 70 US dollars, which is not a retail shop. So you can understand the prices never go down on this kind of fragrances. Some of them do. And uh, this fragrance, I, I, if you can get it like cheaper, uh, you can look into this, but it, it's actually pricey. Uh, so first thing I want to say about Pakuraban Purom is this fragrance, I um, I was reading a lot of reviews. I was back in uh, Steven's group. I was reading a lot of people who were posting on this, the vintage talk. It got to me, you know. <clears throat> so I was buying um, and a lot of uh, sweet, fresh summer fragrance at the same time, sweet fragrance like Invictus. And uh, Pakuraban, this, this kind of fragrance back in the time releases are not in the same line with the modern fragrances they're releasing now. Their trend was different. They were more gutsy, manly. I guess it was that era. And uh, this was one of the iconic fragrances back then. It was one of the best sellers from the house. And I went to the shop uh, in Kuala Lumpur. I think it was uh, the perfume shop in PWTC, like the Sunway Putra Mall. And I saw this. I'm like, let me try it. And I tried it. I didn't like it. Okay, first spray, I was like, this is too synthetic and too harsh. And I just didn't buy it. And I went back. But the thing is, it transformed into something else. You know, on a dry down of two hours, it, it really lasts a long time. The performance on this, even the reformulated one, pretty damn good. Okay, and it changed. So I kind of 
felt like, oh, okay, maybe I should give it a second chance. I went back after a few days, I tried it again, and it started growing on me. It has the masculinity over it. Also, it has a maturity on this thing. It's not a very uh, straight away, you're gonna be like, oh, oh. There's no awe oh factor. This is like, oh. <laughs> you like it or take it home, or you don't like it, screw it, no problem. So that's the kind of fragrance. This is this very old school, classic, strong, powerhouse fragrance. And it's a green slash vanilla fragrance. I, I get vanilla. I, you can you can you can say uh, hold me accountable on this because I may be getting it wrong. People say it's musk, but I get a lot of beautiful vanilla. So this is I think is for built for mature gentlemen, people with beard uh, hitting the 30, 35 and up. These kind of people will like the rest of the fragrance that I showed you, uh, and a little bit more uh, strong, potent, uh, harsher fragrance who are not you know scared to scare away a few people okay but when you spray this first okay what you get is a uh, i have something here okay let me show you the sprayer on this is okay big sprayer a lot of juice okay comes out and sniff it first of all you get a lot of a foresty green mossy feel and it's synthetic all right i know it's synthetic it's not the most natural smelling and also one of the fragrance i'll give you the opening i'll give you a reference point aspen this fragrance and this, they have the similar sort of vibe. It has that uh, piney, pine cone needle, pine needle cone, whatever, that that feel. The foresty, the uh, the tree greenness, that sort of opening on this. And the thing is, it takes time to grow on you, you'll be really surprised. And you'll be like, it's very old style fragrance. Uh, I would say it will scare away a lot of people. So if you give it time, you know, it, it the opening top note stays for one hour, one hour plus, two hours. If you let give the time, it starts to mellow down and becomes such a beautiful, dreamy, it sort of like reminds you of almost like Versace Zeros minus the mint. You know, that's sort of a dry down. It goes to the vanilla side. And that point, it becomes a very beautiful scent. This one, I will tell you, performance once again, beautiful performer. It lasts a very long time. I'll give it like 8.5 out of 10. So the story behind me, I'll tell you a story. I took this into Cameron Highlands, which is like above the ground in Malaysia. I drove up there. It's kind of cool there. So I thought this one, you know, wouldn't be a perfect fragrance to wear in the cold weather, but I was surprised. This one performs better in cooler weather. It lasts longer as well. I put this bottle next to my head somewhere, and uh, the whole night I was getting whiffs of it just from the bottle, from the nozzle. It was very strong, and uh, it lasted and the smell was beautiful. The whole day I've gone out to strawberry farm. I went out driving. It stayed cool, right? The whole day it performed on me. So I don't have to respray on this. The performance projection, very good. So after the initial spray, the greenness goes away and then comes the dry down. And the dry down, you get very beautiful, elegant, uh, sort of like a comforting vanilla, musky, sweet, uh, nice uh, dry down, mellow dry down, which will really surprise you. Green to vanilla. It's almost like an ice cream. On top of it is green. It's sort of like a uh, green, and then inside is vanilla. It's just nice. It's such a comforting scent. And I think it, this one, actually, it's, it, it stands out in the whole crowd of those powerhouses because it does have that transformation. Most of the powerhouses, they stay pretty strong and cloying and very, very potent and animalic. This one dries down to be something very beautiful, which is why I get that barbershop feel, which I get that uh, aftershave, the, the not aftershave, uh, sort of like a... Uh, shaving foam sort of feel you also get from it but recommended age I would say 30 and up that is the ideal age to wear this wear you can wear this daily it can make your signature scent easily anytime any day but you have to have that match your nose to enjoy this don't smell it from very close it will burn your nose let it be how many sprays go one on the chest okay on the chest one maybe uh, on your arm tap two maximum three if you want to go really really strong go on your shirt or back of your neck this one will project beautiful. It will move with you like this, okay? This one, you can wear this. My recommendation is you can wear this all year round. To me, that's what I feel because of the dry down. And uh, yeah, I guess, you know, hot condition, it will work. But in the colder time, it work, works more beautifully. That's what I feel. In the winter time, I'll rock a lot of this. Uh, you'll get compliments from that dry down, not, if not the opening blast, okay? It, it, it will be like halfway. Half people, half of the crowd who have mature nose, who have a bit more mature uh, taste, they will love it. And people who are the newer ones, Savage, Blood Channel lovers, they will say this is very outdated, like dated now, which it's not true. This is ever gold. This is 
gonna live on forever. I, I believe this is one of the most classic fragrances ever made. Um, the occasion I would say office daily wear. Um, you can wear this uh, for your uh, business meetings if you are teaching teachers. This would be a good signature scent for the teachers. And if you're going outdoors, this is a great outdoor scent. It has that mossiness. It used to have ample uh, oak moss in it which used to give it the balls ballsiness it used to last like 18 hours back then now it's more like a seven hours eight hours uh, which is still not bad right uh, the oak moss feel you get from it but it's i'm pretty sure it's not oak moss because now oak moss is illegal to use but you do get that feel of oak moss that is under the tree near the water you'll see the green mossy feel to it ferns or the green nature if you're going hiking mountain climbing that sort of a for that sort of purpose, I think this is great. Outdoors, it's a great scent. Indoors, apply less. I think that would be better. Outdoors, you go three, four sprays, last you all day, okay? So overall remark, longevity, I'll give this very high. This is 8.5. Projection, I'll say it's equally good. I'll send 8.5 as well. Smell for it, for me, how much I treasure this. This is one of my favorite scents. And I would say the based on the, I like the opening top note. Now I like it because I got used to it, but you have to give it time. For what it is, the smell, I'll give this 9 out of 10. I love it so much. But don't buy this blind. Try. It's a try, not a must buy. Okay. Uh, versatility, all year round you can use it. That's my recommendation. That's one of the best features in this. So versatility, 10 out of 10. Uh, overall remark for Pakoraban, what they built back then, I would say this is better than most of their recent releases, which is very predictable. This is predictable. This is very simple. But yet, this is a, a statement that's made. So Pakaraban Purum, I'll give this out of 10, I'll give this 9 out of 10. Only reason I wouldn't give it 10, uh, I guess because the young crowd, the younger teenagers or schoolgoers might find it a bit too mature. Okay, so 9 out of 10 is my ultimate remark on Pakaraban Purum. I'm sorry it took so long to review it, talk in details. And um, I think it's a lady killer. I think so, because when you go in a crowd where a lot of boys are playing, if you're the man, if you're smelling like a man, you are the man. <laughs> That's what Pakuraban Purong in a bottle for me. Reformulation still work. Take care, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Have a nice day. Bye bye.